I think it really just needs to show off the range of things which you think best describes you as a person, you as a creative individual. Um, we're really looking for people who are passionate about what they're doing, who are really creative. Tell us what you're about so you make sure that you're happy with it. It's best to use everything. Have fun, experiment, show as much as you can and a range of what you can because then you're going to look more desirable to them. Be it fabric, be it photos, painting, drawing. You obviously want to show your best pieces as you want a place, but you should be showing the process as well. The beginning of a project, how you approach that, your creative process and how you've advanced upon that. I think it's really important to make them succinct, just like a really simple statement that shows what you were thinking when you were creating that. You know, a lot of people can have different op uh, opinions and reactions to art, and so it's important to show people what you were thinking, what you were intending. Showing us things which maybe didn't work out, as long as they understand why they didn't work out and maybe how to improve that in the future, then that's absolutely fine. Creative failures are still creative acts. It should read like a story. You know, it should progress through to so your initial idea, your development. Then it should get to the final piece. So it, it needs to show you understand the running of things. I didn't necessarily put it chronologically. I mean, you could, but for me, I preferred to sort of mix it up a little bit. It's really important to include in your portfolio just a piece that really just makes a statement as a wow piece. That's something that's going to stay with the people that are looking at it. Remember that one piece? Art is all about being inspired by other artists and what you see around you. It shows that you are interested in your subject. You're branching out and it's important to show you know, where, where that comes from. Students will have all sorts of hobbies, interesting things. Can it add something? Will this be of interest? That can be really nice to see and just give a bit of range to the, uh, to the portfolio as well. Making a digital portfolio is going to look exactly like that when you present it. You can get it out there really easily over email. A lot of people can be seeing it at once. It's uh, much quicker and it's kind of much more user friendly. A lot of people appreciate having that quality. If you come to uni, you're going to have to work with other people. Ask friends, family. Your art teachers, your graphics teachers. You're not cheating by asking someone for help. But... They know you, they know how to make your portfolio work for you. Everybody is completely unique. As long as you love what you've brought, they'll see that. We're looking for you. We're looking at how you think, what you're about, what really infuses you, where you want to go with your career. It really gets across who you are as a person. <laughs>